So what the f*** has happened? Yes, with Spider-Man and Sony and Disney. I, I spoke about this a lot on my Discord server last night, by the way, that totally means you should all join. No, but seriously, um, what has actually happened? I'm seeing a lot of F Sony, F Disney, quite impulsively like jumping on or just taking sides when the real question is, what if it is both of them? So today I do want to talk about this whole situation just because it really does intrigue me and what could be happening with Spider-Man uh, from here on out. How's it going Spider-Man and Spider-Web? I don't know. I don't do a lot of Marvel videos, which is, as you guys know, I've been wanting to change that for a long time, but balancing DC TV show reviews, DC movie stuff, uh, and then trying to do the odd Marvel video is just very hard to do, but I am seriously going to try and saying it for the longest time now, along with Star Wars content, so we'd be expecting that kind of shift into the channel as well. But that is not what you came to this video for. That is seriously not what you came to this video for. What the hell is going on with Spider-Man? I'm not like I wasn't in the room but I'm going to give my interpretation on it uh, my opinion just because I see from just looking into this a lot whether that's through the hashtag people are seriously jumping on either side I completely first of all let me say I'm not on Disney side I'm actually not on Sony's side either but I honestly feel like there are faults with both. Maybe it might steer a little bit more one side than the other side, but it's actually not black and white. It really isn't. So let's look at the deadline report and what they're really saying here. They're saying there is a lot of webbing here, but it all comes down to money, which this is, despite how you feel about how Sony has handled things before, analogize this into another perspective of like, if this was your business. I understand how much Kevin Feige has done, but we'll, we'll get to this. Coming in and asking for 50 from 5. I don't know why people are reporting that they had 0% because this report, according to reports, are saying that Disney did have 5% in the previous films. But then they came in now asking for 50. But anyway, back to the point at hand. Disney asked that future Spider-Man films be a 50-50 on co-financing arrangement between the studios. And there were discussions that this might extend to other films in the Spider-Man universe, which, you know, is another road you can go down. Sony turned down that offer flat. Now, I just want to pause that there. Look, I, I as I said, I'm not taking sides here, but I'm just trying to put my mind in both shoes. I'm not defending Sony here, but I think I think going from 5 to 50 is a very intimidating thing when Sony's massive cow that they milk is Spider-Man. But you have to also think in terms of, you know, the people saying, oh, F Sony, look, they clearly don't care about the fans. This is the money. Well, A, it's business, but that's not the only thing. You could argue with how much Disney have a borderline monopoly already, asking for 50% already. Now, as I said, this differs on opinions. You may believe that's just with what they've done for Spider-Man. And obviously, Sony turned that offer down flat, but they did say that Sony came back with an offer for 5% to continue that deal. If that is like the deal they had for the previous films. As I said, I'm hearing that they had nothing before Disney. Uh, nothing before in terms of this. Just the fact that they had the um, merch rights. That's how they made, made the money on these films. But according to this report, they did have 5%. So Sony obviously came back and said, Here, no, we, you're not taking 50 but have 5 still. Now, that is very wrong. That is so wrong extremely wrong as as i keep saying we all weren't in the room but that is downright stupid of sony in terms of just saying why wouldn't why wouldn't you offer okay like i get negotiating i really do but five offering five for what kevin feige's done is a bit like uh, a middle finger uh so they should have like it sh i don't get how it didn't just get to the point of but this is multi-million well billion dollars of negotiating here you wouldn't just give all your cards away but this is way too premature in my mind as what a lot of fans are probably instantly and impulsively like f sony for they should have probably given and offered maybe 20 percent to 30 percent because then um you know you have to think that disney would have been like hey that's a lot of an upgrade from 5%. But back to the actual main lines of the report before I keep going off on a little bit of a tangent here is that Sony turned down the offer flat. Sources said that Sony, led by Ton Rothman, oof, um, and Tony, I cannot say that second name, came back with other configurations. So they did, this is where a lot of misconceptions are going place. Like, oh, just Sony walked away when Disney said 50. Uh, or just Disney said 50 and Sony did nothing and like Disney is being stubborn. They did offer that other configuration that we're speaking about. Um, but Disney... Disney did not want to do that. 
But Sony did not want to share its biggest franchise. Sure, Disney would be putting up half the funding, but the risk is in how much you're going to make off the profit. That you Well, yeah, that's the thing. I get how if you're offering 50%, it's a gamble. Sp the next Spider-Man could flop. They'll be financing that much. But then obviously this means a f ton more a profit for Disney. Disney wasn't at all interested, at all interested in continuing the current terms when Marvel receives the, the range of 5% of the first dollar gross sources said. I completely understand why. Considering how much they've helped, 5% is too low. But what I'm saying is, could you? do we really know? Do we really know that Disney, if offered 25% or 30, 35%, which I'm seeing a lot of the more, uh, I feel like, thought out um, responses on whether that's Twitter or the internet, um, saying is reasonable. I, I kind of think that is reasonable. Maybe you are thinking that 50 is reasonable. Fair enough. I, I, actually, I understand that perspective as well. But how do we know that Disney wouldn't have turned down that as well? That's what I'm thinking. Like, how do we know they would have been like, nope, 50, 50. We don't know that. So is it, is it, what I'm trying to say is I feel like both parties are kind of to blame here, but everyone was obviously uh, freaking out last night with regards to the fact that, okay, this is it. That's it. Nothing. It's over now. It's completely over now. But, you know, no, they will be having more talks because there has been an update to the article. Um, and this was, you know, came out last night as well. So updated with Sony's response. Sony Pictures spent much of yesterday trying to spin deadline about the perspective loss of Kevin Feige from future Spider-Man films. First, the studio downplayed the idea that he might be leaving and inside just pinned his exit on the added responsibilities from Fox acquisition of the X-Men franchise, though they declined to make a statement. They go on, but sources maintained that Fe Feige's exit was about money. It was about Disney seeking 50-50 co-fi stake as the price for Marvel and Feige's continuing, uh, continued guiding hand that resulted in the delivery of Sony's biggest grossing film ever. So this is what I mean. If Sony did, like actually offer 30% instead of the stupid decision to say, hey, no, carry on with five. Would Disney have taken 30? I really don't know. I really don't know if they would have. How do we know that, they, like, this is what I mean, how do we know that Disney is not being greedy too? So anyway, Sony declined to meet those terms. It was an aggressive stance by Disney. Uh, I mean, I agree with that. It was aggressive to be like 50. I, I just would have, you know, I just... It is big ballsy to be like 50 <laughs> and I just feel like that as I keep saying would be intimidating analogize it to a completely different business You'd be like holy 50 50 Okay, I get what you've done, but 50 like okay I think you deserve 30 which is where I, I keep repeating myself at this point where Sony was so wrong so wrong They shouldn't have given five offered five which anyway uh, It was aggressive stance by Disney which already owns the merchandise on spider-man That is what they had as well and a tough night for Sony to swallow, giving up half of its most valuable franchise. But these talks had been going on for some time. Had Sony agreed to Disney's ask, Marvel and Feige would not have withdrawn from the Spider-Man film. So this is where I want to offer another thing. Do you not think... This, like, people were saying F Sony for the most part, right? And I am, if I give my personal opinion here, I would lean a little bit more on Sony's side because there aren't any reports of them saying they counted, okay, from five, how, okay, what about 15? Or what about 20? Or why wasn't it 20 to begin with, you know? Because that infers that they are like, hey, no, money grabbing, you're having five. But, but what I just keep thinking is, in the other side of things, is Disney just, you know, declining and, um, you know, withdrawing because of the 50. It does tell me that it is a stubborn perspective of, like, if they really did care about fans and making this work as well, and maybe they're standing up for themselves because they truly do believe that they deserve 50, which, you know, is debatable. I think, you know, they do in a way, but like maybe, as I keep saying, they should have had 30. Um, but it just shows that they care about the money too. They really care about that money, even if it means splitting this for the time being and, you know, causing turmoil on the internet because they won't accept anything less. This, you know monopoly sized you know i don't need to explain to you disney and how much they do milk other franchises uh or you know well we're not getting into that um i like disney but yeah. um <laughs> but it does tell me that hey we're not doing this uh money is what matters at the end of the day we're not taking any less than 50 they haven't said that but you know that's what i'm reading uh, maybe they would though maybe they would have if sony said 30 but would they would they is the question would they is the question is it really f disney Maybe is it really F Sony? I, I but as I said, I am kind of slightly leaning a bit more towards Sony because. But as I said, with the context of this being negotiation, 
Um, I think it was silly for them to just offer five. That what? Uh, I feel like maybe if they offered at the very minute, uh, at the very least, twenty five percent, and you know it went up from there maybe, but not fifty. That would have been. A, I think Sony would have a lot more of my respect because at the minute I'm not completely f Sony. I'm not completely f Disney, but I'm just kind of like. Yeah, you kind of Sony did done effed up uh, with just offering five, you know. No, I do I do get why Disney were like effed that, but I, I think bottom line, bottom line, bottom line is that would Disney have accepted twenty five or thirty? Maybe. Maybe not. So how could this affect Spider-Man 3 and Spider-Man 4? Because as we all know, they have plans for these future movies. Well, this is the interesting thing. I'm seeing a lot of misinformation as well about, oh, apparently uh, the, the same director is on board. But the it, deadline is reporting here. Sony is planning two more installments, though it is open to question whether those will include John Watts, director of the first two films, guided by uh, creatively by uh, Feige. Watts isn't signed on for the next film and is certainly... Uh, isn't a certainty, I can't speak, to be back as he is being heavenly courted for other jobs. The studio hopes to have director John Watts and Tom Holland front and center, though Watts doesn't have a deal. This is in another part of the article for the next picture and isn't locked to return. Um, and this is the thing, guys. This is um, this is where it gets interesting because either way, if they have Tom Holland and this continues on at least for the next movie until things get sorted out, that it looks like Sony will be doing their own movie, at least the next one before things get packed up immediately. Um, it, it won't be in the MCU. Like, for a matter of fact, it's not in the MCU anymore. Like, for example, it may have the same cast, may have Tom Holland, uh, all the stuff you kind of loved about Far From Home and Homecoming and stuff, but no Happy and stuff like that. No, like, obviously on the uh, MCU side of things, no reference of the Spider-Man in uh, Endgame and uh, and stuff like that. But I know, guys, I've been a bit confuffled in this video. It's just, I love this character as well. I dressed up as him as I, when I was a kid, like most probably kids did, most of you guys did. Um, I, this is why I covered some Spider-Man content last summer as well. Um, but I, I have to admit, I don't know where I land. And you know, guys, I try and always put both of my feet on both sides of the fence. But this one's conflicting. I do see flaws in both sides. But I would love to hear your opinion. Try and think about both sides. As I said, I think in conclusion, I do lean a bit on the side of Sony in terms of a bit more fault. But I definitely don't think Disney is innocent. If you're on the Disney bandwagon and you like F Sony 100%, I do think that is a bit you know misinformed of a statement to say um but tell me if i'm wrong seriously tell me if i'm wrong i'm completely down change my mind i'm kind of split down the middle it's kind of like 55 60 percent 40 percent according to what i just said so like it if you want to see more marvel videos i'd really appreciate your input on that as well uh, down in the comments below. Um, I do want to make more. But that is it for now, guys. I will try and keep you updated on this situation. As I said, th th there will be more negotiations, obviously. For the people who are thinking that this it, no, 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 no. Like, they will be talking more. Of course they will be. It's just if they can, you know, put aside the stubbornness and actually be like, hey, you know, Sony is going to be like, hey, you do deserve more. We're not going to start with five here. How about 25? And Disney might be like, no, okay, maybe 50 is a bit too ballsy of an aggressive stance. 35%. Sony be like, okay. And then that can fix everything. I That's reasonable. But we don't know. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you, Spider-Man and women, in the next video. I don't know what that was.